Welcome back everybody. You're watching the Diary of a Dog Walker provided by Crichton Pet Services. And I'm Stephen Crichton, the owner of the business. You join us on Thursday the 9th of February in the morning. If you're new to the channel, I'm a professional dog walker and I take out packs of dogs. And in the morning, we only take out small dogs. So let me introduce you to the gang today. Who have we got? We've got Ted, Tosca, Elsa, Barney, Otis, Rua doing a piddle, and Nell barking at me down there. Thank you, Nell. Come and see me. Yeah, good girl. Bye down. That's our gang for the day. So if you'd like to see more of them and what we get up to stay with us, I'm going to be back at the end of the walk to kind of recap how things have gone and just maybe cover off anything that uh, has happened. But until then, I'm going to hand you over to these guys. Come on in. Okay, let's go. Down we go. <laughs> I can't stop it. <sighs> there we go. There we go. Let's just check our pass. Thanks, man. Helpful. Let's go to see. There's some kind of mechanical work going on up there and uh, I don't know if I want to take the dogs. It seems like it's like, Ted, what are you rolling in? Ted, get up. What is it? Come on, eat it. Yeah, I don't know if I want them to, uh, to come into contact with whatever it is. It sounds like it's heavy machinery. So we're going, we'll get to that corner and see what we're going to do. Now, here we are. I think we're okay, aren't we? We can do our normal sort of route. Yes. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. 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 Come on. Where is it? Rua! <laughs> She's a bit down into the river. You have one trouble. You don't know this place as well as we do. Rua! 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 I knew she was going to get lost there. I just knew it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, shush. That cat who's just came out of the bushes and it was really weird. The dogs have just gone off their head, absolutely off their head, haven't you all? We're calm now, but like I got a fright also. It's like, why are you in these bushes? Why? <laughs> right, who's going over? Who's going under? Who's going up? up. No one, just me. Okay. Good you guys. Good. good, good, good. Yep, up, up there. Up. Good boys. Right, you guys, up, up. Good, you notice? Know, Very quick reaction. Good now, good. Rua. Good. Good, Barney. Elsa, shush. Tosca, we need you up, sweetie. Tosca, up. Tosca, up. You bash her out of the way. Up. Good, Tosca. Good girl. Ted, coming up. Ted. Ted, come up. Ted. Okay, just you for six then. Okay. The 
I can't stress this enough. That guy has like freaked me out. You just wouldn't be there. You just wouldn't be in that particular place. It was very odd. Up to no good, I think. And like a guy in his 50s, probably. So, these guys, all in unison, without any signal from me, just started barking at the guy. And this is a quite an interesting thing. The dogs, their whole life, are they're non-verbal. So every part of the world that they interact with is about how things sound, how things smell. Well, let's rank it in order, how things smell, how things sound, and then what things look like. And they spent their whole life being masters of body language. They can understand my body language probably better than I can. Uh, if I'm in a good mood or bad mood or upbeat or sad or whatever, they can probably just tell from the real subtle differences in my the way I hold myself, the way I walk, that kind of thing. And uh, so they're masters at looking at this and they'll have been able to tell from this guy's movement. Yeah, there's something not right about it. They're very good at it. They're very good. And that's actually why I never trust people my dogs don't trust. I wouldn't be going for a pint with that guy. No way. <laughs> Oh yes, I know, we're at the water, you're all high. You're high, go on, here you go. It's not as secure as it looks. You're right, You stay back. You shake over there. This is all gonna be wild garlic. Yeah, that's gonna taste nice. Come on, let's go to see. Tosca, bring it in. We're splitting up. We're splitting up, Ted. Yes, I know. We could stay and play with them forever, but we need to do our work. They need to do theirs. Yeah, good. Good, Otis. Otis. He's too social. Good. Who else is going up? Come up. <laughs> Oh good, Tosca, just you. We just need your paws on it. Come on, hop, 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 hop. Tosca. Tosca, Tosca, Tosca. Good girl, everyone's been up, well done. You. Thought the response rate was pretty good there. We gave them a task and all seven of them completed it. So we just wanted them up onto the rock in some description. It's interesting because there's a bit of a competition going on there and you can hear it in the barking with Elsa. She wants to be, uh, have all the attention essentially, but they've all completed it even despite that sort of threat. It's good, it's good, I'm proud of them, it's good. There's a heron in the water to the left. I'll see if I can show you it without bringing attention to it. Do you see it? I'll circle it. Tosca's seen it. You can fix it, it's yes. Tosca, good. Everyone, yeah, no, 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 no. Tosca, come. Tosca, good. We don't need you on that time. Tosca. Tosca, good girl. Good, you guys. Good. 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 We've just got some other doggies to deal with here as well. We'll see how that goes. They were nice doggies. They were really nice doggies, weren't they? Yes. And no. Have we got everyone? Oh yeah. Oh, thanks Elsa. Thanks for helping me. Thank you. Elsa needs to cool off a bit. I think she's a bit wound up from that 
initial barking with the, the guy. Yeah, you guys have camped down quite a lot. The sun is coming out. Right, go dry off in that wind. Yeah, have a play with Otis. Go on. Go on. Well, that wraps us up for another edition of the diary. No, what do you call it? An entry in the diary. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's been quite an interesting one. Hopefully, uh, what I've said about the dogs reading body language has made sense and no one got too freaked out about that guy and uh, yeah we've met some lovely dogs had a nice little bit of interaction social interaction there and a good challenge that the dogs all achieved by jumping up on the log uh, the rock which has made my day I know that might seem like a really basic thing but those small things add up to the big things so that's what we're after you know we're after little achievements and we build them and build them and build them and we got one today it's good hope you've enjoyed it if you have join the family come and be part of the team subscribe and if you've already subscribed make sure you speak to us in the comments and get back to every one of you guys as you know if you've already done so so come and give us a little bit of chat let us know what you think about today or what we should do in the future thanks very much for watching see you in the next one take care bye bye